Hi guys, I'm Tino from Sonova Surfboards and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the new sub range that we just came out with and it's brand new, totally new and something really really special. Alright, so this is our latest technology, the newest thing that we got and uh, yeah, I'd like to invite John from SurfFX over here and uh, we talk about it together. Hey Tino, what do you this think? This is sick. Yeah. My name is, is effing sick. Great. Um, Bit different from last year. Yeah. What have you? Uh, what have you done this year with it? Because it's a new look. It looks like a new construction. Total new shape. That's for sure. What, what's what's new? Yeah. So basically, what we what we try, that was exactly what we tried to do. We tried to create, you know, a more fresh look. We we worked on the logos, made them, you know, more cool, and try to come up with the with the whole range with something. Our goal was to create something that isn't out there. Nobody has this wood, nobody has, you know, something like this. We want it to be different, and that's the main key, but at the same time, we want to focus on our strength, on the Sonova strengths, is technology strength, you know, surfing and all that, and yeah, you can see this, in fact, already showing really well on this one model there, right here. So this is a new technology, Yep. because it's ridiculously light. I mean, I'm used to carbon boards, and this is a board with a grip that's equally a carbon board. So like, if you, what are we, what, how did, how did you get oh, even lighter? <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of wood is this? It's crazy. Let me check that. <laughs> so basically, what we did is um, instead of what, what most people are using when they're using wooden boards, it's, a, it's like a veneer, like bamboo, polonia, or different kinds of veneer. But what we are using, and what we are using since you know a long, long time, what Bert invented is the uh, is is the sandwich construction, and we're using the balsa. So it's the same what we are using on the surfboards already for so long. And so we got a, a thick uh, 1.5 mil thick sheet of bal uh, balsa on the bottom, and a and a one a 2.0 uh, sheet of balsa on the deck, and that allows it to give a strength of a sang sandwich. It's not just a, you know, impact strength, it, it gives a really um, more power and more strength to the board. Now there's some black magic in this board, isn't there? That's right. And so, what the sandwich isn't just a normal standard sandwich, what people normally use PVC foam with it, a really hard, high density foam. What we are doing with the balsa, we are, you can see these small lines in here, these uh, black, they're black tinted lines. And so what it, what it does is we score them and we are creating a, a, a connection between the super light EPS core and the inside fiber with the, uh, through the wood with re filled with resin and the outside fiber. And what that does, it creates a lot of little I-beams in here, which makes it, can you use your thumb and just check if you can push that in. It's super strong, it creates solid. a really strong solid structure. Which is which, which isn't, yeah, nobody has that. That's awesome. Maybe next. And what's in the rail? This rail is, uh, is tinted for a reason. What's, uh, what's in the rail? So basically, um, in the rail, the rail is full carbon. So um, we have a, I mean, we know that uh, in the, the strength of the board has to be really in the rail as well, because you always hit it and you do things. Plus, you, it gives it the flex and the kind of parabolic rail which we have and which Bert is famous for his invention with the surfboards. So we're using a, a carbon rail, full carbon rail around and we do these um, little uh, silver hand painted look on it just to make it even cooler and give the board like a real hand finished look yeah. at the end. Again, you, can, you, you don't see a lot of paint in here and that's the same of our philosophy from last year, paint adds weight. And we do not want weight, so we got to do something to create a cool look without paint. And that's what we do 100%. Now I noticed another little weight saving treat you guys have. And that's that you've got a full FCS thruster set as opposed to going a box. All right, so you're right. I mean, uh, what we're doing here with the EPS, it saves a lot of weight. It, it's also at the same time really strong because what we are doing inside underneath the wood here, there are really high density PVC pieces inside and they're, they're getting CNC'd into the board right when we shape the whole core. So they're always in the right position and they're really, really strong. And so we call this infinity fin system because it'll last very, very long. It'll, it'll, before, any, before the fin system breaks, it'll break the fin. 
And you guys are doing different fins this year too, I noticed. You guys are doing the Moonraker fins. Yeah, so basically what we are what we are trying to do, I mean, you know, our brand is is known for really, really high value. We want to always be on the top of end of the market. We want to have value. And so what we are trying to doing is we try to make a um, agreement with 3D fins because we, we really believe in their system. They have this dimple uh, fin system. And so what it does, it gives you, it gets rid of drag and makes the fins uh, even faster than what you could do without these. So you can check it out on their webpage and they explain everything in the exact detail. Yeah, and so that's it. We want to, we, we're gonna come out with a whole Bird Burger fin range and it's all his shapes and uh, yeah, these guys are great and we love working together with these guys this year. What's special about the bottom construction? Because the top's got I-beams through it and it's rock solid. That's right. What's going on with the bottom? And you're actually a kiter, so you actually know that rock solid is really hard to ride. You know, on a, yeah. on a choppy um, wave, on a surface like that, it's really hard. So what the board, board does, it just bumps its way, right? And you, it'll feel really uncontrollable for the rider. So. What, what Bird did on that is he made this bottom uh, piece only 1.5 millimeter. It doesn't have the eye beams and so if you push your finger here, it'll actually move. Yeah. It'll, it'll spring back because the strength of the sandwich, it'll always come back, but it's softer. It's a flex one. And what it does, it's, it's a real shock, shock absorber. That's good. Because some of the boards that are full carbon are just too rigid. They almost feel like they're, they're just way too artificial. That's right, and so what this does, I mean, you can really see it here. It's, uh, it's really great because you can ride a really big wave, and you know how people say, surfers, they like to say, hey, um, for this waves and this wind, my board's not heavy enough. You know, the board needs to be heavy, and that's not right. All you need is this. So basically, another thing that's really important for us, it's a smaller thing, but it's really important, is the vent. All, our, all the Sonova boards come with a special vent. It's a Gore-Tex vent. It's made by us in our own factory. We control all the processes and it's tested a long time. It's a Gore-Tex band, meaning you do not have to take care about it at all. You can completely forget about it and it'll do its job. It'll breathe and make sure the, the board will last longer. So no problems with the heat and cold? Absolutely. We get, hot here. we get real hot. That's right, and that's exactly what it does. I mean, the problem with, with, the, with the boards is inside is an EPS core, a really light EPS core, which basically has mostly air inside. And what happens is, uh, the weather gets hot, board expands, and the water, weather gets cold or pressure gets cold, so it does this all the time. So you have a rigid um, structure here, and it does this all the time. You can't imagine yourself, boards don't last as long. And that's why this is so great, because it breathes. It's alive. It's got so...